One of the nation's best scorers, Cameron Thompson, aka Cam Thompson, is one of the most underrated players in this NBA draft. He did end up being, of course, the 27th pick in this year's NBA draft, getting drafted by the Brooklyn Nets. Cam Thompson is, in my opinion, in a great situation to grow and become a much better player on this Brooklyn Nets team. After becoming the all-time leading scorer at Oak Hill Academy and going to LSU to play and becoming one of the nation's best scorers and leading LSU all the way to the second round of the NCAA tournament, Cam Thompson is now on this Brooklyn Nets team as a guy who is gonna be in a really great situation. He may really not get much playing time in the beginning, of course. And what we saw, what he did as well in the summer league, he averaged 27 points per game and he was also Game co MVP, and in the preseason, he put up really good numbers as well. But you know, it's the preseason, it's the summer league, it's more so, of course, about what we see on the bigger stage, and that's the NBA season itself. And I believe that he's in a really good situation to really grow and develop his game on this Brooklyn Nets team. First off, his game is very similar in a way to guys like James Harden, and not in the, in the fact that James Harden, you know, he has all the other gifts, but more so when it comes to scoring. You know, the Brooklyn Nets have three guys on their team who are legit scorers. Obviously, Kyrie Irving is out right now, but regardless of that fact, they still have three guys who are considered the best scorers in basketball right now. And Cam, he's going to just be able to suck up all this knowledge from all of these guys when it comes to being an even better scorer in this league. But what I believe is going to separate Cam is really is if he develops his playmaking ability just overall, because this guy, he averaged more turnovers than he did assists in in the preseason as well in the summer league and of course and when he was in playing in college he's not really a guy who is considered a great facilitator he can make some basic passes to his teammates but a lot of times he's in tunnel vision and he makes really just dumb mistakes on the court when it comes to making bad shot selection at times and because of that you know he's going to he's missing out on really great opportunities for his teammates to also make a great plays and that's definitely going to be something that i believe will separate him if he can work on becoming a great facilitator as well because when i look at some of the best scores and best players in the league these guys are not only great gifted scores but they're some of the best playmakers look at lebron james look at luka Doncic, look at james harden all these guys are perfect examples of this but if not then he really will just end up another guy who is a jordan clarkson 2.0 and that's not a bad thing because jordan clarkson is a really good player but what he provides is scoring for the utah jazz that's what he does for his team and that will be the same thing that cam if he does not develop these other aspects of his game when it comes to playmaking and also of course we have to talk about just his overall offensive game though in general because i talked about that weakness when it comes to his playmaking but he's a gifted scorer he can score on pretty much all levels he's a great scorer in transition he's not the greatest when it comes to finishing around the basket because he's not the most athletic player but he's also really good at creating his own shot that step back of his man you might as well call him the step back king because he uses it so much in his arsenal he has many great moves in his arsenal and he also shot 88 percent from the free throw line he was second i believe in the league at attempts from the free throw line and he made the most free throws in his one season in college basketball and that's very impressive in itself and that shows you right there because he shot 33 percent from the field from the three-point line and that shows you that him shooting very efficiently from the free throw line is great news that he's going to be a really good scorer though in the nba if he just continues to work on that development because your free throw percentage tells you a lot on how good of a shooter a player can be and i believe more so with him it's about his shot selection he's not always taking the best shots going into this situation for them on this brooklyn nets team is a great opportunity for him to learn and grow as a player and even james harden said that he was a better scorer than him coming out of college that's that's a lot of praise already from a guy who's considered one of the best players in the entire nba so when i look at cam though his game is very just loud it, it shows you what he can do right then and there he, this guy is a gifted scorer he can score the lights out of the gym and he's a hard worker he is, does everything for his team but he's going to have to work on really becoming a more efficient shooter from the field when it comes to his three pointers he's gonna have to work on becoming a better team defender as well because sometimes on the court is he's not really involved with what the team is doing on the defensive end of the basketball court he's just kind of standing around not really putting an effort on that end you know and what this Brooklyn Nets team's got to show him is that he's gonna have to put in a lot more effort if he really wants to get more playing time and minutes especially 
and if he's gonna have to work on becoming a better facilitator for the Brooklyn Nets, the team, whatever team he decides to be in in the near future. But the Brooklyn Nets, they definitely got a big steal out of this guy because he can come in and he can really contribute some playing time and some buckets when you need him to come in at times because he is really a great scorer. And you know, if he does end up being a great player one in the NBA, you can tell that a system is really going to be built around him and really him and his style of game. I believe that's only if he actually became like a star player, but when I look at him right now realistically and if he continues down this path on how his game is, then he's going to be a great six man for a basketball team. He can come off the bench and really provide great scoring and all those attributes that he what he can do in his game. He can be a really good scorer on a good team that really needs that from him coming off the bench because he can be a great player off the bench, but I don't really see him really becoming a guy who could be a starting caliber player if he doesn't work on these other aspects of his game. Steve Nash said, I think there's some ground for him to make up, but we love him as a player and think he can. he's got a bright future, but it might take some time. He's joined a pretty tough team to crack into, and that's very true. He's on a team that is a contender. He's on a team that is trying to compete for an NBA championship. But for him to get this experience right then and there, especially being young, he's only he just turned 20 years old as well. This guy, he's got a, he has a pretty good future ahead of him. He is a late first round pick, really the one of the most underlooked players in this NBA draft because of that. But you know, if he can really just work on these other aspects of his game, and and really just advance his game into what the NBA is now today, especially with him not just being a scorer and him work on his playmaking ability and just trying to be a better team on ball defender and one on one defender as well. I think this guy can be a really good player in the NBA because he really is one of the most gifted scorers in this NBA draft. He's definitely going to have to work hard this season to really get some respect on this Brooklyn Nets team. But I hope you guys enjoyed this brief video today on Cam Thomas. He's a really great player and this guy has the amazing ability to be a great scorer on all levels. He's not really the best playmaker though and he's going to have to work on that defense. But when it comes to his scoring and his ability to score on all levels, and his efficiency he's gonna have to work on that part of his game as well this guy can still be a really good player and possibly one day a six man of the year candidate if so and if possible one day an all-star if he works on all these areas of his game but we will see only time will tell i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more basketball content each and every single week have a good day peace